Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and we are here to discuss the transit of Venus, which is already starting to show its results because Venus has, you know, is going to enter Pisces when I am making this video yet. And maybe by the time you see, it has already entered Pisces and it will stay there for till 29th February. Yes, this year is a leap year, hopefully. So till night of 28th, so roughly 29th morning, Venus will be situated in the sign of exaltation Pisces, where it will transit through Purva Bhadra Pada Nakshatra, then Uttar Bhadra, and then final, where it reaches its peak exaltation, which is Revati Nakshatra. So this is a very important transit. Why? Because there are many interesting things which are related to the sign of Pisces and these planets, basically. Which means, Purva Bhadra is the Nakshatra of Jupiter, Uttar Bhadra Pada is of Saturn and Revati is of Mercury. And it has been just some time since these two planets, especially Jupiter and Saturn, they have changed nakshatras. So therefore, now we can start feeling the change which Venus is going to bring for all of us. And also Mercury, by the time Venus enters Revati or almost near around that time, Mercury is getting retrograde. First it will enter and then Mercury goes retrograde, of course. So therefore, the Nakshatra Lords of these three, Urva, Uttara, Bhadra, Pada and Revati are for two, the change has already started and for Revati, it is going to start. So when a planet will transit and no other planet is uh, going to transit Pisces or these nakshatras. And of course, the most important thing is Venus will be under aspect from two malefics. So by the time Venus enters around the initial degrees of Pisces, after some time. Mars would have entered Sagittarius after some days, of course. And Mars will throw its aspect to Venus from Sagittarius because Mars aspects the fourth house from wherever he sits, fourth, seventh, and eighth. And then Saturn has entered Sagitt uh, left Sagittarius and entered Capricorn just recently, 25th January 2020. So Pisces is the third house from Capricorn. So he is going to throw his aspect on the sign of Pisces where Venus is going to transit. So therefore, this transit of Venus will have a lot of flavors. And Jupiter also is going to be conjunct K2 and then Mars. All right. So a lot of a uh, lot of inner churning can be expected during this transit, all right? So let us discuss this transit briefly. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to my website, which is down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what is Venus? Venus represents our ability to give and accept love. Yes, that's all Venus is. <laughs> uh, sometimes people think that Venus rules only the pleasures of this world. Well, yes, at a lower level, yes, it rules the pleasures. But at a higher level, it does not only rule pleasures, it also rules happiness. All mundane sorts of happiness is ruled by Venus, which includes pleasures, Physical pleasures also. Physical means when you eat something good, that you get some pleasure. When you drink something good, you get some pleasure. Then pleasure from friends, family, everybody. It's all Venus. <laughs> and yes, the prime pleasure in this world is the 
pleasure which we get from the opposite sex or nowadays from the same sex also so that is the uh, in the mundane realm that is the highest feeling that's the highest consciousness of venus in the mundane realm but apart from that it also rules uh, emotional pleasure uh, also i have seen moon rules more of the happiness part you know are you happy finally but moon doesn't rule that much of the pleasure because pleasure is is in rajogun and happiness is in satogun so happiness and pleasure are two different things <coughs> pleasure is some sort of uh, <coughs> some sort of a titillation which you get when you get certain sense objects so when you eat something when you put something in, into your tongue which you feel very pleasurable which you feel is very nice then the tongue gets stimulated and you feel as if wow this food is very nice when you drink something really very nice or when you see something or somebody very nice you know, the pleasure of the eyes or when you touch something which is very nice very fine very soft or maybe you touch fire and then you take it out so that that also is the domain of venus but venus does not tell you to what extent will you be happy after getting all these yes if it would have this responsibility then maybe people would be happy immediately after they would have got some pleasure but that doesn't happen now we become happier to some extent when we get some level of pleasure but that's that's not uh, that doesn't satisfy the soul after a certain amount of time you will realize that the same thing which used to give you pleasure is continuing to give you pleasure even now but you don't become happy it's like uh, eating a sweet suppose so sometimes uh, when i go to india people tell me uh, oh i ate uh, seven gulab jamuns i ate eight gulab jamuns i ate ten gulab jamuns so the moment you eat the first sweet or any other food it tastes the best what happens after some time the second time you eat the pleasure reduces <laughs> third time it further reduces after 4 5 6 7 if you eat 10 times then it doesn't give you any pleasure even if it gives you 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 don't become happy the first time when you eat you become pleasure you feel the pleasure and you become happy also so materialistic pleasure can initially make us happy but as krishna says in gita these pleasures have a beginning and an end that which is like poison in the beginning is nectar in the end and that which is like nectar in the beginning is poison in the end right so therefore this planet venus his agenda is not to make us happy his agenda is to go around giving us pleasure that is his ultimate agenda but the problem with pleasure is even if you talk of pleasure at a mundane level not at a spiritual level or inner happiness even if you talk of pleasure pleasure can only be increased beyond a certain extent when you feel that okay i have had my share now i should share it with somebody else also that is the difference between the sign of libra and taurus so taurus represents all the things which venus represents essentially but which are localized which we tend to do for our own pleasure but libra represents those things which we tend to do for the pleasure of others or with others that's what is libra and then you finally have pisces pisces is the sign which tells that hey venus you have taken enough now it's time you give you have eaten enough now you feed others you have had enough now give it to others <laughs> so even at a materialistic sense if somebody is seeking too much pleasure the person has to realize that 
I can only expect pleasure beyond a certain extent. After which, after a particular amount, to the extent which I give pleasure to others, to the other people. Otherwise, uh, Venus is not very happy. But now, what is happening? Now, this Venus is under aspect from Saturn and Mars. So, this is like a Venus which which is now wanting to express itself by giving itself to others by thinking about others and not just thinking of oneself but when when he tries to behave like that it is like there is it's like saying there is some re restriction and there is some exaggeration why exaggeration because if you observe carefully um, Rahu and Ketu are in Gemini and Sagittarius respectively. So this is like a Kendra position because the dual signs are in Kendra to each other. Okay, 1, 4, 7, 10. So now Venus is also in Kendra to Rahu and Ketu. Wherever there is Rahu, Ketu, there is exaggeration. Exaggeration means thing, things are blown out of proportion. You feel as if if you don't have it now, you will not be happy. You, you will lose it. You want you should have it now. That is what uh, Rahu Ketu. That is how we feel when it comes to Rahu and Ketu. Always I have seen. So therefore, this Venus wants to do good, wants to give itself to others. But there is a aspect of Mars. What, what does Mars represent when it comes to uh, Venus? Mars and Venus together can represent the concept that pleasure has to be seeked immediately. If you want pleasure, it has to be now. If not now, then never. And then what is Saturn? Saturn Venus. Saturn is also going to aspect Venus in Pisces. So what is this Saturn and Venus game? Game of Saturn and Venus. <laughs> so Saturn and Venus have a very interesting game. Generally they say this is a very challenging placement if Saturn and Venus are under mutual aspect or even if Saturn is alone aspecting Venus by the third or the tenth aspect, leave alone the seventh or conjunction. Even then, they say this is a very uh, challenging placement. Why? Because the, the conception of pleasure doesn't like... You know, imagine, I go and tell you that, my dear sir, you will get to uh, eat this very beautiful dessert or some dish maybe. But then I tell you, you will get it only one spoon. <laughs> Uh, or just one serving, not more than that. And imagine you see it and then you are like, oh, I wish I could have more of this. That is exactly like a Saturn-Venus conjunction or, or a Saturn aspecting Venus. So because of that, what we can feel sometimes is that although we are doing something for others during this month, especially February, although we are doing our best to please somebody but that person is either not getting pleased or even if he or she is pleased the person is not reciprocating with me the person is only taking the person is not giving basically or the person does not value my giving or the person feels that that person has done more for us than we have done for them so therefore we should watch out that we should not be getting into uh, unnecessary quarrels that oh you said this I said this you gave me this I gave you that no, I have done more you have learned done less so we should avoid these kind of unnecessary battles trying to prove to others how great a favor we are doing by staying in their lives <laughs> so that is not very healthy instead we should learn, we should during this month especially, we should appreciate others more and try to think what are the things that they have done for me, which I have not reciprocated properly, which I have not uh, paid them back properly. 
so if you do that then this month is going to be very beautiful otherwise if we only focus on what we are doing what we are giving then you could feel that this month is really very challenging so therefore we could clear off the accounts which we have from the past and at the same time we also have to understand that what we should do to make somebody happy depends on what that person likes or dislikes so when mars and venus are under some kind of aspect or yoga i have seen the the person thinks that i will decide what should make the person happy the other person so it's like saying suppose uh, there is a couple okay and then the the husband comes and uh, tells to his wife that oh i brought a very nice gift for you now maybe the 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 wife as a lady she doesn't like gifts so much maybe she likes words of appreciation more than some physical gifts and then what happens the man gives and then she is like okay yeah thank you it's nice but then the man understands that she is not becoming very happy even after i have given this gift so then this man goes into depression he thinks that what no no matter what i do this my wife is never happy with me why why because he is not able to understand what actually makes her happy so he thinks that by according to his definition of happiness she should also be happy but but it's not like that people are different their individuals are totally different and uh, we cannot expect or we should not think that everybody should be happy the way we want them to be happy right? so if we want to make somebody happy we have to realize that we just have to go and ask him or her what my dear sir my dear madam what makes you happy what are the things that i can do in my life which can make your life better yes rather than sitting and speculating okay maybe he likes this maybe she likes like this this or that no it doesn't work like that of course we can speculate to some extent but ultimately we have to realize that it is about that person not about me ultimately i have to make that person happy not myself of course love attracts love also so because of that when we make somebody happy we also become happy it's like it is like reciprocation so therefore we will become happy when we make somebody happy but that does not mean that we have to define their happiness their happiness is fixed they have already defined it so we cannot define what people like and what they don't like so therefore if we can just let people be themselves and let us be ourselves <laughs> not to pretend to do great things which we cannot so if you if you as they say na you should cut you should get a shoe which fits your leg not cut your leg uh, according to your uh, shoe the feet why so during this time we should not make some uh, fake commitments or not fake exactly but things which we ourselves doubt that will we be able to do this somewhere in the future or not because then it can backfire because mercury is going to be retrograde after some time right so wherever you are making a promise during this month especially related to venus the houses which venus rules in your chart make sure that you actually have the capacity to fulfill those promises otherwise do not make a promise please do not make the promise because if you make then somebody may ask you oh well you made this promise can you prove it to me and the interesting thing is venus is also going to be retrograde after some time all right so 
Therefore, this transit of Venus, which will be retrograde in Taurus, is in Pisces currently, which is the sign of exaltation. So I have always seen the transit of a planet in its exaltation or debilitation just before the retrogression cycle is very, 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 very important. Okay. So that means this transit will give you clues of what will happen in the month of May. All right, because that is the time major planetary retrogression movements are starting. All right, so that is the conclusion of the video. That let us be ourselves. Let us do what we can. Let us try our best in making others happy, or especially those people who matter to us. By realizing that it might happen that they may not reciprocate, or or it could happen that we are trying to define what should make them happy. Well, let us ask them what is their definition of happiness or success. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.